FEMTU is a really hot topic in the broadband technology staff. It's a way of providing cellular coverage, currently 3G cellular coverage, by means of something similar to a Wi-Fi access point. Actually, you will provide 3G coverage within, let's say, short-range environments, like your home, your Soho, places where you want extra capacity or extra coverage, but at much lower cost for the operator. Essentially, FEMTU cell is, it, it's, it's similar to normal cell that you get in a macro, macrocellular network, but it's small, it's low powered, and to the mobile, it looks the same as any other cell. In addition to that, uh, I guess the difference between that and a normal cell is it would hook up onto your broadband network, either at home or in the office. A femtocell is a tiny 3G network in a box. That's the easiest way to put it. Um, it gives you great coverage, um, 3G coverage in your home. Um, it gives you um, incredibly dependable, full speed um, data, uh, 3G data in your home for mobile broadband. And it works with your existing 3G handset. It connects back to the operator's um, uh, core network via your existing broadband connection. So all you do is you plug it in um, and suddenly you're enjoying um, a, a, a great experience on your phone. Combined with very cheap backhaul from DSL and other broadband and a very cheap uh, consumer unit, it's, it's a sort of revolution in the way that mobile service can be used. So that's Femtocell in a nutshell. Sounds simple? Well, yes, femtocells are simple conceptually, but in practice, they're anything but simple. The technology is complex because femtocells have to work within an existing cellular network while not interfering with it or with other users. The technology has to be secure because femtocells use a household's broadband connection, and in that case, there could be legal implications. But if femtocells are successful, they could replace other technologies such as WiMAX and Wi Fi and that's why the mobile operators are so interested. As such, femtocells represent the mobile operator's big pushback against the huge amount of momentum that's built up behind WiMAX and Wi-Fi. At stake is nothing less than the business model of the mobile